Welcome Grab Shiny, my name is John, and this is 20 Abrupt Endings, uh, part four, I think. Hashi le Terrorist. So, this is my third time actually recording this video. The first time I, uh, just like, when I played it, I was like, I need to talk to the creator real quick and, uh, and, uh, make sure, you know, you know, because it's a very sensitive type of game. And, and pretty much what his thoughts are right here, you know. They're right here in, in the information that pops up. Usually I don't show you guys the information that pops up because it's not really important. It just shows the controls. But um, as you can see, he talks about in this description that uh, it's a product of his time. Uh, it depicts some religious prejudice that was common commonplace in French society. Uh, those depictions were wrong and they're wrong today. So they don't represent his views. They don't represent my views. Uh, they don't represent Grab Shiny's views. We don't need to go on some witch hunt and find this guy. It was a thing he made. And that's what makes the 20 Abrupt Ending series so good. Is it's a, it's a, it's a look into this person's psyche. So with that in mind, we can continue on and play the rest of the game for what it is. This is the story of Hashi Kapab. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Everything started on a nice day of spring in Mr. Kapab's grocery store. Kapab. Oh, what a nice day of spring. What will I do today? Mr. Kapab checked his mail. Oh my, I've got mail. He opened the letter that someone had placed under his metallic shutter during the night. My brother. Change the font. That's very interesting. You were chosen among the followers to carry out a mission of utmost importance. The Amoricon, Amoricon government has implemented one of its military centers next to a grocery store. This does not sit well with us, which is why I'm asking you to show dedication to our cause. Your mission is to erase all traces of this center. Equip yourself well before leaving. Walla snack bar. Now, obviously, that's a joke on Allah Akbar, which means, I think, uh, praise, praise their lord. Finally, it is time to show my faith. With this... Mr. Cobb started preparing his quest. However, I'm about to do something dangerous. This is there's no way I'm going in with the same mind. Took a space bar TM. I think that's a placeholder text, uh, which is very potent hallucinatory drug, as well as a gun he found in the back of his shop. With this space bar TM, I can get out of a delicate situation. All I need to do is press the space bar when I need to. Also, he uses gun by left clicking, and thus Mr. Cobb embarked on his epic quest. So, if you had not seen all that story up front that I allowed you guys to see, because it is re I had to respect the creator and sh show pretty much what he made, you know, whether it be good or bad or wrong, because it is wrong. Uh, I want to show it because it is part of his creative process. This is a point. You know, we went from playing some Chrono Trigger clones to a point where he's making games about you being a terrorist going and shooting up an American embassy. Um, oh god. But if you had seen that, it would just seem like a normal, normal game to you where you walk around shooting things. With not much to it. Oh man, so I can't go that way? Oh, but there's an opening up there, so I just have to go back around. So like I said, this is my third time playing this game. Uh, oh, I can't go, what the fuck? Oh, here we go. So the first time I recorded, I just, I don't, I didn't feel like I represented the creator well. And I want to do it better. The second time, I just fucked up my audio, which was, which was a pain in the ass, considering I don't already record the game once. Oh my god, my life is just getting fucked. Jesus Christ. Annihilated. No. Okay. Let's play again. Okay, no, I don't want to see that fucking story again. But the second time I messed up the audio, and that's just what it was. So now, here I'm recording it again. Don't worry. As per usual with 20 abrupt endings, there's not much going on here outside of what you're seeing right now. Uh, you shoot with the with the left click and uh, I'll show you the spacebar thing in a minute uh, because it pretty much is what makes this game what it is in fact oh my god 
I'll show you right now. Look at this shit. Your character just like moves however the fuck he wants. You can now hold down the button. Oh my, and also things turn into smiley faces for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. Fatal funnel right there. Oh, am I still gonna die? Yeah, I am. Oh my god. I'm the worst. No. All right. So the idea is when you when you press spacebar, you just start tripping balls and uh, <laughs> I don't know. Things get really weird. Your character like moves like he shouldn't to, which is a problem. And there's a lot of meme stuff. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, if I didn't show you the fact that this was like about terrorism, you would not think this had anything to do with anything. I like to think like maybe it started as as something else, and then it turned into the terrorism thing. And what's weird is because you expect like a game that's offensive to be kind of offensive towards a. Uh, a certain type of people uh, but this one is just uh, quite offensive to everyone <laughs> doesn't matter who you are one you're playing as terrorists <clears throat> um, no matter what uh, obviously they were trying to parody uh, the, the Muslim people with uh, with the Walla Wakbar which is a play on the Allah Akbar thing you can also blow these up. Uh, it doesn't do anything for you, but it is it is an option. So there's that. Excuse me. Excuse me, box. Something cool happens if you... if you Hold on. I don't want to say cool. Cool is stretching it. If you... If you... Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so the little evil smiley faces come out. And you have to take them down. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. You would have no clue that this was a, about terrorism if I didn't if I didn't show you. And I thought I thought about not showing you, but then I was like, I was like, no, because then it won't be like genuine. This it won't represent the creator's views at the time. It won't represent his creative process. You know, I don't know exactly because. The games came in a little package, but I don't know exactly if, if if it's the proper order that they come in. So I don't know when he made this. I don't know how long ago it was, but he 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 accepts it and he puts it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out. If you don't like it, you know, let him let him know uh, you don't like it. But that's okay because that's that's probably why he didn't finish it. Up up up. So spacebar is pretty much the way to go. It just fucks up your eyes so bad. Okay, so we've triggered a lot of enemies. Oh. Oh. There were so many of them up there. No, 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 no. I, I can't. Oh, I just noticed my life bar is actually, like, all over the place. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. All right. Come here. I just want to see the smiley face guys one more time. That's all I want. And not the weird purple dudes who I feel like I haven't addressed properly enough. I saw them. I definitely saw everyone saw them. They turned from boxes and it's not not really clear which boxes, but they it happened. See some of these boxes don't even do that. They just expand and some of them turn into smiley faces. It's a weird game. Uh I think I'm about to die, actually. I think that's what my health bar being red is meaning. Oh, 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 oh. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Is he dead? No. Oh. Oh, I think I got him. I think there's a few more. Smiley faces. I can feel them. I feel them coming. Oh, that was a gross thing to say. Ah! Oh, if I just let oh okay. 
So that's it. So I, I actually haven't found a way past uh, past the smiley face meme people. They just they're impossible for me to beat. Uh, they just keep coming. Eventually they they come in larger packs and they just swarm you to death. So I like to assume that's pretty much where he was gonna end the game. If I were to somehow beat him, the game would probably crash because they wouldn't know what to do. But that's 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 this game, you know. Don't don't take it to heart too much. It was something he made at the time. Uh, we've all done things that we're probably a little bit ashamed of. It's but he put it out there and he said, "Hey, this is me, you know. This is a, something I made, and uh, I I'm gonna live with it now. I'm gonna put it out and uh, as part of these unfinished games that I made and and show you guys." my creative process at the time that's what i went through and i find that very interesting so just want to remind everyone grab the shiny in your day don't let this bother you you know if if uh if you're really sensitive to this type of thing just move on with your day grab the shiny all right and catch you guys next time peace